Today we would like to discuss about RL low pass filter. First, I want to mention regarding the capacitor and inductor. Okay, so we have we have C here. The capacitor have X C equals to one over two by F C, and we increase when we increase the frequency, the capacitor reactant decrease because of the F button of two are inversely related and. If we decrease in frequency, the capacitance reactant increase. So the impedance is high when the frequency is low. Means that means that the capacitor they are block low frequency signals, and when the low frequency signal is enter. And the capacitor will greatly impede low frequency signals, and the impedance is low when the frequency is high. Means that the capacitor allow the high frequency to pass through the unimpeded of the inductors. When we have the XL equals to two pi FL, which equals to Omega W here the omega is two pi f. Okay. From here we notice that the f is on the top of fractions. Else when we increase the frequencies, inductance reactance is increased. So is this two? Okay. When our frequency is decreased, uh, inductance reactance is decreased. The inductor reactant is high when the frequency is high, which means that the inductor is block the high frequency, and its impedance is high frequency signal cause pass through, but is greatly impeded now. The inductive reactant is low when the reactant frequencies. Is low, which it allow the low frequency to pass through. So when the low frequency is pass through, is allow the frequency to pass through. Yeah. Okay. So we can conclude that the capacitor is low frequency can be pass through, and for the in for the inductor is the low frequency to pass through. And it blocking the high frequency. Okay, now we go to talk about the low pass filter. So here we know that R L is a low pass filter has an inductor and a resistor. Okay, this time we will have output voltage is directly across the. Resistor. Now the output voltage will be equal to the resistor divided by the impedance, which is the square root of R square plus with x L square and Is multiply with the V in, and we move the V in divide by the V out. We will get the gain. So it's V in V out divide by V in. So from this case, okay, we can see that the X L is equal to omega L. So we substitute the omega L inside, and we simplify it. We will get one over square root of one plus omega L divided by R square. After simplification, this is our gain, and from this case, we know that when the frequency is increased, the X L will be increased. Our impedance reactant will be increased. This is because.
the xl is not on the top of the fractions this is bottom of the fractions so when the xl is increased our v out will be decreases so on the other way the frequency decrease our inductance will be decrease and our v out will be increase did notice that the voltage how output is high is high when the frequency is low and means that we have a low pass filter any time of the output voltage is high when the frequency is low and we have a low pass filter so see from here we know that our inductor is allowed for the low pass frequency and not allowed for high pass frequency now we look at our frequency response curve we have the y axis is v out in db and the x axis is frequency now the frequency response is look like this similar to the frequency response of our rl low pass filter and it have the cut off frequency here when they are decreased at negative 3 decibel of the circuit cut off so the frequency will be in r over 2 pi l so as the r is increased the frequency cut off frequency is increased so when the l is decreased and the cut off frequency is decreased so the resistance of the circuit is directly proportional to the cut off frequency but the but the inductance of the circuits is inversely directly to the cut off frequency so that is for the rl low pass filter now we would like to explain about the rl high pass filter so for this rl high pass filter it will have start with the r and then connect to the l and for here we have the v output is equal to our xl and here is the v in okay in this case in this case we will have again v out divided by v in equals to xl divided by square root r square plus xl square xl square is the inductor reactant so in this in here we can have xl is equal to 2 pi f l so we can substitute with omega l to simplify this equation we will get 1 over square root 1 plus r divided by omega l bracket square this is the simplified equation for v out over v in which is gain from here we can from this equation we can see that the r when our frequency is increasing our xl inductor reactant will be increased and a v out will follow to be 
increase okay so in this case when we have a high frequency high frequency pass through the R the resistor it will allow it to pass through however for the low frequency it will not allow to pass through by the inductor so now the inductor just allowed to pass through the signals by the low pass and write the L and here we will have a high pass frequency and allowed to pass through by the R and not allowed to pass through by the L and we just have the low frequency is here so from here we can have our response curve V out and this V out is 0 dB in unit when at the cut off frequency we will have negative 3 dB and here is our cut off frequency and the cut off frequency for this case is R equals to R divided by 2 pi L